A high-ranking female member of the military is calling it quits. In a letter obtained by CTV News, she says that she is sickened by the ongoing investigations of sexual misconduct among key leaders. CTV's Michelle Boyer is in Ottawa with more details for us this morning. Michelle, tell us about this high-profile resignation. Lieutenant Colonel Eleanor Taylor with the reservists is calling it quits after decades serving for the for Canadians and the Canadian Armed Forces. I could tell you, Marcia, that she says she is disgusted that it has taken so long to investigate inappropriate sexual behavior of high-ranking military members. And I want to share with you part of her very lengthy letter of resignation. Uh, take a look at this. She says, I am sickened by ongoing investigations of sexual misconduct among our key leaders. Unfortunately, I'm not surprised. I'm also certain that the scope of the problem has yet to be exposed. Throughout my career, I have observed insidious and inappropriate use of power for sexual exploitation. She talks about systemic issues in the military. She talks about having been both a victim and participating in the damaging cycle of silence. Now, uh, she again uh, began with the Canadian Armed Forces in 1994, and there you see her with former uh, Governor General David Johnson, who, um, where she was awarded uh, a, a medal for her uh, heroism. She served in Afghanistan, uh, led battalions. She is very well known, very well respected, and uh, this letter is indeed scathing, Marcia. And tell us more about what the Lieutenant. Colonel is saying about what we now know as Operation Honor. Operation Honor was the military's effort to stamp out sexual uh, inappropriateness in the military, an avenue for people to come forward, really crack down. But now she says the fact that high ranking members are under investigation, that Operation Honor is stained. It needs to go. It needs to be changed. Uh, the whole operation needs to be dismantled. Now, we do know that the government has said that they are looking into setting up an external body outside of the chain of command for the military so that if anybody has any sort of concerns or, uh, you know, experiences some, uh, is something that is sexual in nature or inappropriate, that they feel safe going to this person to report what has happened and that they trust that something will be done. Okay, Michelle Boyer, thank you for that. Appreciate it.